This is the captain speaking. The Enterprise has been severely damaged due to our encounter with our enemy. By a mere stroke of luck, we were able to come out alive despite the damage they inflicted on us. I am therefore calling an emergency meeting with Officer Spock, Bones, and Scotty as to what our next course of action must be. I leave Mr. Sulu in charge of the ship until our meeting is concluded. Do not interrupt our meeting unless it is an extreme emergency. Kirk out. The Enterprise went a lot through that battle. Scotty, what does she have left in her? Most of the computers are down, the fuel is leaking, the phasers are burned out and disabled, and we are running just on auxiliary power. We will soon be like a flying coffin if we do not get to a station soon. Mr. Sulu, what is our current position? We are currently in quadrant 34. Where is the closest station to our position? The closest station is Obicron 2, which is about 8 light years away. Don't forget, Captain, that we are still on a mission. We promise to deliver those microcrystallines to Alpha Necron. There are over 6 million lives at stake. We are quite aware of that, Doctor, especially since you've been griping about them for the past 12.6 minutes. Captain, I suggest that we make a direct course to Alpha Necron. They have an abundance of resources and men able to repair our ship. I agree. Mr. Sulu, what if we made directly to Alpha Necron on just auxiliary power? Inconclusive, Captain. The computer is not able to calculate the distance to Alpha Necron, but I am able to see how much fuel we have left. I know for certain we can make it to Obicron 2. What is the distance between Obicron 2 and Alpha Necron? Again, the computer cannot calculate the distance, Captain. But from what I recall from studying the map, it is about 15 light years. Thank you, Mr. Sulu. All right, men, here is our ship, the Enterprise. From what Mr. Sulu told us, she is eight light years away from Obicron 2. Please do not laugh at my drawings. I am a captain, not an artist. We also know, from what he also told us, that Obicron 2 to Alpha Necron is 15 light years. Now, with all this information, we have to ask ourselves this final question. What is the distance from the Enterprise to Alpha Necron? It's a pretty good question, if you ask me. Do any of you know how to solve this problem? I have an idea. Let's take a ruler and measure the line going straight from the Enterprise all the way down to Obicron 2. And then we will have a ratio. So then that way we can take that ratio and find the actual distance to Alpha Necron. Please explain your method, Scotty. Captain. I want him to explain, Spock. Let him go ahead. See, now look right here. We're going to measure this in centimeters. From the Enterprise to Obicron 2 is 23.5 centimeters. So then, there's our ratio right there. So then we have... 8 over 23.5. There's our ratio. So then now we have this line, which happens to be 30 plus another 30 is going to be 60 centimeters. So then now we have a new ratio. We have D for the distance right here that we don't know, and we have 60. Multiply both sides by 60, and we get 480 over 23.5 is equal to D. And then therefore, D is equal to 20.4255. Not bad, huh? The problem, Scotty, is that the diagram is not according to scale. The method of measuring with a ruler will not help us in this situation. We are not 20.4255 light years away. How should he know that, Spock? He works in the engineering department. Observe, Doctor. I already miss my friends and family back home. We have relied so much on technology, it's probably dulling our minds. 
We can't even do a simple math problem like this. That's the least of our worries, Scotty. We have two decisions to make. Either we decide to figure out this blasted problem, or we go straight to Obicron 2. We can't just sit here like dead ducks in a pond. You can relax your nerves, Doctor. I have already solved this problem. What in the world did you just do, Vulcan? It's rather elementary, Doctor. The method I used is usually taught in ninth grade. It's called the Pythagorean Theorem. The Chagrin Theorem? Who Chagrin? Not Chagrin, Scotty. The man's name was Pythagoras. There is a theorem named after him, and the theorem has been proven to be true. Well, hurry up and tell us, pointy ears. Be quiet, Bones. I have a better idea. Spock, how about you come up here and tell us again what the Pythagorean Theorem is? I need a refresher on it again, and at the same time, you can tell us how far we are from Alpha Necron. What do you say? It would be my pleasure, Captain. As I told you all before, this theorem was named after a man named Pythagoras, who was born around 579 BC, although this theorem was actually discovered long before he was alive. There were records that the Babylonians had discovered this relationship of triangles around 2786 BC, and... Spock, we get the idea. Please proceed to the theorem itself. The theorem states that the area of the square whose side is the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the areas of the squares of the sides of the triangle. Algebraically, this can be written as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. c represents the hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse happens to be the longest side out of all the sides of the triangle. So therefore, the distance from the enterprise all the way to alpha necron is considered the hypotenuse. A and B represent the sides of the triangle, and the sides are here and here. We have 8 light years from the Enterprise to Obicron 2, and 15 light years from Obicron 2 to Alpha Necron. So then, what we can do is take 8, put that in for A, take 15, put that in for B, Eight squared is sixty four. Fifteen squared is two twenty five. The sum of sixty four and two twenty five is two eighty nine. Now, c squared is equal to two eighty nine. We must now take the square root of both sides, and we get that c is equal to 17. So therefore, the distance from the Enterprise to Alpha Necron is 17 light years. Captain Kirk, I need your attention. Kirk here. Were you able to estimate how far Alpha Necron is from our location? Yes, indeed. Mr. Spock calculated the distance and said that it is 17 light years. We just received a message from Obicron 2. The commander informed me that they themselves had just been attacked by the Klingons. They survived, but they are in desperate need of supplies. They spotted our ship in the area, and requested that we go to Alpha Necron and bring help and aid to Obicron 2. Do we have enough fuel to make it to Alpha Necron? Affirmative, Captain. My computer reads that we have about 17.4 light years worth of auxiliary power left. As long as we're not attacked, we will make it. Very good, Mr. Sulu. Tell the commander that we will be very happy to aid him, but also mention that we, our ship must be repaired first. In the meantime, have him send a list of supplies and materials that he needs, and when our ship is repaired, we will be able to bring those supplies back to him. Make a direct course to Alpha Necron immediately. Aye, sir. Kirk out. Friends, we have to thank Mr. Spock again for getting us out of our predicament, and ultimately, we have to thank Pythagoras for discovering this well ahead of time.